And then on the dimensioning tab, the grids and the parts. And so as you go through these, you can change your settings and then just continue to hit OK. And then setting it, just verifying what your part mark settings are. Again, we're recommending things to be left blank. And then your settings on your, your visibility. And then you at the last prompt is for you to save away, you know, a setting. So if I had some setting that I wanted to get this, I can just say save. And then that's going to uh, save away that, that setting. And then I hit OK, and then it closes out of that. So now I've created that, that setting. Same thing with my, my sheet uh, views. If I select a given view, and this is for plans, I can go and run through that. And it says, OK, this is a macro for setting up your plans. So steps on scale, uh, size, uh, appearance of openings and datum, view labels, setting up your grid properties, and also telling you where the advanced options are for more grid properties, what information, your view filters, what do you want to filter out, uh, the appearance of the defaults for bolts, welds, and reinforcement, and then reference object properties, as well as including the pen weights, and then the part mark fields for the different uh, settings. So that, again, it's kind of walking through what we just presented. Uh, really, it'll give you uh, a guide of uh, what are the settings that you really need to be concerned with. And then object level settings is referring to there's another macro that's available for that. Uh, and then again, you would go save away your view. A uh, given view, you can save away your settings there. So that's, those are some kind of wizard-like tools. Just, they're not actually doing the work for you, but they're kind of stepping you through what you actually need to uh, be aware of. Uh, so now we're going to take the, the questions. And uh, Wanda, if you want to. Yeah, my, uh, here's a common one that has been uh, posed to me in the past. Uh, on the uh, dimensions, uh, the extension lines where they show up on the grid lines, is it possible to turn those off? Yes, okay, there's a que the question was about the dimensions. Remember I was showing you this setting that you can have the uh, short extension lines on your extension, on your lines. Well, actually, yes, there is a setting now to make these, these lengths actually zero. So for these settings, when notice here when I select that grid, I don't see any left or right kind of mark there. And that is because there's settings now under advanced options, under the general, uh, dimensioning general. And there's an extension line away factor and an extension line toward factor. And when you make those zero, then that will allow you to, uh, that will allow you to uh, make that, make that, um, basically with no, with no hatch mark at all. So, all right. So that that's a good question. I mean, that's been something requested in the past, and actually, it's I think it's new to version 16. Actually, uh, at least that's what I'm aware of. So, any other questions? Okay, I know that we're running uh, kind of beyond an hour here, which is typically what we do. So uh, let me just go ahead and finish off here. I wanted to just end about the help documents that I mentioned, the First Steps tutorials. Again, look at the drawing tutorials there as well. They're more in-depth than just the basic lessons one, two, and three, which most people are familiar with. And then on the extranet, uh, these macros actually will be posted uh, shortly on the U.S. Support Center, just as they have been before. Uh, there was the drawing standards for engineering firms that we zipped up and put some that Excel file uh, from the Organizing Your Drawing Standards webinar. Well, these two wiz uh, wizard macros will post on there, and as we create more of them like that, we'll post them on there. And we would like your feedback on them, too, as well. And then past webinars, uh, these 
this webinar is uh, being recorded and so it'll be posted on the Tuesday Tutorials uh, webinar page. You can access that through the uh, engineering under the webinars engineering and then you can see a link where you can go to the Tuesday Tutorials page. And we have those broken up into smaller like 10 minute videos so it's easy for you to go back to those and look at them. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole you know, 45 minute video to try to find what you're looking for. All right, so uh, the next uh, one to be, uh, to be determined the date, but uh, it'll be based on the object level settings, kind of a continuation of what we ended on here about getting into how you actually set up and drawing settings at the object level. All right, so thank you for your attendance today, and uh, if you have any questions, you want to send us, please uh, send us via email. Thank you.